Hey guys, it's Nuo Master, and welcome back to another Redstone video. In this video, I have a really cool project to show you guys. I had some time over spring break, so I decided to throw this together. This is a Bresenham line algorithm machine. So this machine will draw a straight line between any two points that you choose on this 16 by 16 pixel display, since it's four bits. And so basically, you define a line by in inputting uh, two coordinates or two points on your screen, and then it will connect the two points. So I already have some points inputted into this, and let's just draw a line and watch it in action. You'll notice that it'll start out slightly slow and then it'll speed up as it goes. That's because it has an initialization step, and then after that, it is eight ticks per pixel which is insanely fast. Um, it's going to be harder to make it any faster than that uh, solid state. Uh, it's definitely possible, but I kind of messed up the timing with this one, so whatever. Uh, it works. I don't want to make a new one. 8 ticks is plenty fast. So we have a line, straight line, diagonal, between those two points. Now, it can also render lines with negative slope. So let's do that. Uh, to input a line, you have two sets of coordinates. These orange inputs represent our first point that we're starting with, and then the blue ones represent our second point. So we have x0, x, uh, x0 and y0, and x1 and y1. So if we want to say let's draw a line between this point right here and the top corner of the screen up here so this point right here happens to be 13 7 so if we get rid of this which is 13 7 and we input 13 7 into our x0 and y0 indicating that they're our first coordinate it will be right here and then if we input 0, 15 for our second point, which is way up there. So x is 0, y is 15. And then we draw a line between there. We should get a less than symbol because it's kind of it's kind of going to make a triangular thing here. And yeah, it connects those points with a negative slope. Uh, basically, it just changes the direction of the counters to accommodate for that. Uh, so in that case, it was it still counted up in Y, but it changed the counters to count negative in X to do that. So it can connect any two points that you want. Uh, I'm not going to explain how the algorithm, Presenham's line algorithm works in this video, uh, because it's way too complicated to explain in this video. But... Um, Basically, I have some calculations for initial constants, which are saved into this register here. And then they are read from this register when I need them in this main data loop, which consists of this uh, care look everywhere adder here and some hardware and timing around it. Uh, that's how I make it so fast, since I don't calculate these count constants every time. I only count calculate them once in the initialization. And then after that, it's an 8-tick data loop. And then over here, we have some counters that count up and down and detect when our line is finished. And of course, up here, we have our screen, which is nothing special. It's just a screen. So uh, I am going to provide a world download for this so you guys can play around with this yourself. Uh, I'm going to include some instructions on how to use it. If you don't know just by looking at it, it's pretty simple to understand. but I don't know, maybe you are stupid or something. Um, and I'm also gonna like draw a star or something on camera, just kind of for fun and speed it up, add some music to it maybe, just uh, because it's pretty cool. So yeah, look forward to that. 